Hey guys, I've been wanting to make this kind of video for a while. I just, I want to talk about how this suit being in the furry community has improved my life and pretty much stopped me from killing myself on multiple occasions along with my boyfriend and my family. But um, before I joined the furry community, I was bullied really bad growing up. I mean, I had food thrown at me. I had money, I had uh, pennies thrown at me because after my granddad died, I would wear his clothes to school. I had money thrown at me because of this one bully. Just, I don't, I don't know what her problem was with me. But, uh, it's gonna be a little hard not to cry. Just let you know, if I, if I start crying, I'm really sorry. Um, but my life got, uh, <clears throat> it was really, really hard growing up. I mean, my mom was a single, with a single mother raising a child that had ADHD. And growing up, I didn't know how to channel my anger. So I took a lot of it out on her and it has her fucked up. I, I know that she won't admit it, but I, I know, I know I have. I fucked her up completely. I'll never forgive myself for that, but um, I just, I didn't know how to channel it. I, I didn't know how to, how to cope with my anger because I had ADHD. Or I not have, but I have ADHD. I mean, me and my parents fight a lot, but we still, we love each other. And I wouldn't trade them for anyone, no one. But going back to the bullies, I was bullied majorly in school. I had food thrown at me, I had the pennies thrown at me. Um, I got bullied for not, for not having a boyfriend. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, how low can somebody get? I got bullied for that. And I got bullied. I just got bullied for everything. Only once I got bullied for wearing a, for uh, for being a furry. I mean, my teachers. After I told my teachers that I was a furry, they loved me. And every day, every day in class, they would take out a little time to ask me about the furry community and what I do and what I don't do. Obviously, I told them it's not. I don't do it with the sets. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've tried and I did not like it. I, I, just, I can't breathe in this thing half the time. Like right now, I'm having a freaking heat stroke. That's actually why I got my fan pointed directly on me. I don't have a good thing. But I just, I would watch fursuit videos in class, purposely shoving it in people's faces pretty much. Like here, hey, look. Look at this giant kangaroo dancing. His name's Monster Roo. He's my fucking idol. And Monster Roo is my fucking idol. Well, he's not Monster Roo anymore. He's named Gusu. But he he brought me into the dance community. I may not uh, participate in dances at conventions and stuff. I just, my anxiety is too much right now. I can't. I, I'm extremely shy when it comes to that kind of stuff. But I dance a lot. I love music. I love dubstep and country and the kind of songs by Missy Elliott and Lady Gaga. I just like pop a lot. Mainly pop. Like dance, like dance, dance kind of music. But um, yeah, the community has just helped me a lot. Like a lot. And I've made three amazing, well, uh, like in real life, I have a lot of online friends, like actual online friends, but I only have three or one passed away this April, or the past, this, I can't talk, this past April was at Furry Week in Atlanta, or during Furry Week in Atlanta, and um, that was Moonshine Wolf, also known as Patty Royer. Oh, that's announcing their <laughs> her last name right. I hope I am. I'm so sorry if I'm not. If they watch this, but, <clears throat> but she, her husband, and this other guy, this other fursuiter, Rainbow Trot, 
Rainbow Trout Creek, Wolf, and Moonshine. Those are my three most closest friends in this family. Uh, Creek Wolf is like a father to me, and he's he's just done so much for me. He stood up for me. He's he's just he's awesome. I mean, I made art for him and his wife, like memorial art for his wife, and he had it tattooed on his back. I mean, I even got a picture of that. But um, I've just I've made some a real some really amazing friends in this community. And so many people have been supportive with my artwork. Now, I'm also an artist. I'm a digital artist. I don't really draw traditionally anymore. I don't use this desk like ever, as it has all my paper and pencils and stuff in it. But my boyfriend is also super, super, super supportive with the furry, the furry thing. I mean, I talked to guys in the past that called me a freak because I was a furry and I wanted to date a non-furry. I was told, I mean, going back to the bullying, I was told that I would never be loved. No one would ever find me attractive. No one would ever love me. I was called a poor slut because I had, I, I jumped from boyfriend to boyfriend to boyfriend just because I wanted love so desperately. And I was called a slut. I was called a whore. I was called a fat ass, double chin, because I have a scar under my chin and it's, pretty much made a double gym. But um, I was just, I was called horrible, horrible names. I wanted to kill myself on multiple occasions. Sometimes I still do. I never go through with it. The closest I've, I've gone to killing, trying to kill myself is pretty much once. I mean, I've, I've said three, but they weren't really attempts. I've tried cutting myself. I mean, I do have a little scrape right here, but no blood was drawn, no no cuts were made. I, I just I'm not I'm not the type of person to physically harm myself intentionally. I mean my cat scratched me pretty deep on my middle finger and I fucking cried for an hour. <laughs> like that shows you how weak I am for when it comes to that. I've never tried to physic I well not tried, but I've never physically harmed myself. I mean I lash out. I'll beat my head into the wall. That's as close as I get to physically harming myself. I do hit myself. I, I, on my anger, I take it out on, on, on myself physically. And I'm currently uh, going to therapy for that. But uh, I actually have a big bruise on my head because I slammed my head into the door uh, the other night because my parents were fighting and I felt like it was my fault. If I cry, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Sorry. I just, I feel like everything going wrong, or that goes wrong in my life, is my fault. I mean, sorry, um, uh, my parents have fought bad physically almost because of me and they almost got a divorce because of me and um sorry. it's really hard to um to hear that it's your fault i have been told it's my fault before but i don't think they meant it that it still hurt I've been told to, to move, I've been told that I was a spoiled brat because I just, I didn't know how to channel my anger, you know? I mean, now I, I, I do know how to channel it now. I can calm myself, but back then, all the past fights I've had with my parents and my friends, I mean, I've lost friends because of my lash outs. my personal opinion over certain subjects. Um, I just, I've lost so many friends and it hurts because I know I hurt them. That's why they're my friends. 
but I know I, I hurt this one person on an emotional level. And I was also friends with their mom, and they even told they told me that I had them on their bed crying, and I I, did, I didn't know what I did. I just gave my opinion, like it wasn't hurtful or anything, but it just it smacked me in the face because that's not what I intended to do. I mean, but it's just really hard knowing that sometimes things are your fault and. Sometimes I just, I don't know how to handle that. I get told it's my fault for the stupidest things all the time. I mean, it's my fault my biological dad hates me. He hates me because I'm a furry and he thinks I fuck everybody in it. And he never, he never gave me a chance. And I tried bringing up the furry costuming up to him the last time I really saw him and he said don't bring that around me all I tried to do was explain what what the purpose was and we actually had an argument on the phone um, he just pretty much disowned me and I know he still loves me he sends me a message like every two months saying I love you I mean, I'm the one who told him to fuck off pretty much and to not ever text me again or something like that. Uh, but at one point he threatened, he got drunk, he's an alcoholic. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a druggie. I haven't seen him in two years. So. But he drunk texted me one night and said that he was going to come up here and beat my ass because I told him to fuck off. And he sent me a message saying he was going to beat my ass. And it didn't really scare me because I had my stepdad and I have my mom. And my stepdad had a gun at the time. He used to have it until recently. He had to sell it because he had to, he had to for having money issues. So we had to uh, use it to get food, to get groceries. <sighs> but um, my dad just... I told him to never talk to me again, and he just, growing up, he tried to change me. He tr I, I would go to his house, I'd draw animals, I'd watch My Little Pony, he would say, you're too old for that, like, any, I'm pretty sure any, grown, any uh, parent would say that, but he would try to get me to draw game characters. He wanted, he forced me to play Xbox, he forced me to do to dress like a girl because I mean I'm not gender bent or anything I'm a female I'm straight I have a boyfriend I'm not transgender oh, excuse me but um it just tried to change me growing up and eventually I had enough with it and I actually cussed out his now wife the last time we really spoke because she told me to grow up and to stop acting like an animal because of my suit she told me to grow up and I need to get a job and face reality. And, and both of them were just like, you're too old to be acting like a dog. I'm like, bitch, this ain't even a dog, this is a dragon. Get your fucking facts straight. <laughs> and I was actually in college at the time. And I'm like, this is literally what I said. I said, first of all, bitch, you don't tell me how to run my life. Both of y'all can go suck a dick. I didn't say that, but both of y'all can go suck a dick. And um, I told I told her that she had no right to tell me how I should live my life. I told her that I was in college. I'm with, I was looking for a job, which never happened, ironically. But I told her that I was I just not graduated. I don't know really what other word I can use. But graduated. I actually got my photography certificate over there. I don't know if it's, it's right over there underneath that blue painting right there. But I got that at the University of West Georgia. That's where I went to college. And um, yeah, but 
going back to the community saving my life, it has, or help my life, it has, and I'm very thankful for the friends that I have now. And if you currently suffer from depression, or manic depression, or postpartum depression, or whatever it's called, <laughs> please reach out to me. I'll, I'll link my telegram below. I'll go ahead and say my name, just my username. <clears throat> my username. My username is capital H honey bun bun 226. Just capital H for honey and just lowercase b for bun bun. And the numbers are 226. But if you ever need to reach out, if you're if you're a cutter or you want to kill yourself or you're just feeling down, feel free to message me. I may not reply right away because I rarely use Telegram. But I check it often. I check it from time to time just because I'm in groups. But do reach out to me if you need to. And I'll, I'll even give you my number. I'm not going to put my number in this. But message me on Telegram and I may give you my number if you want to text directly. Or I'm not a phony, so please don't call me. I don't do I don't do phone calls anymore. I, just, I can't. It's too much on my anxiety. I hate talking to strangers. I'm sorry. But do reach out over text. Or Facebook, or for Affinity, or DeviantArt, or any of the sites I'm on. If you follow me on for Affinity, then you know who I am. Just reach out. But thank you for watching, and I'm sorry I cried. I warned you. But uh, yeah, peace.